Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. If you had to guess, would you say more dangerous animals live on land or in the sea? If you ask me, I have no idea. But considering that more than 80% of our oceans are still unexplored, there's likely some deadly, creepy creatures lurking in the depths of the sea. And no, we're not talking about sharks. Do not worry, we've done the research for you. This video is going to put you eye to eye with 10 sea creatures whom you might want to admire from a distance. From the poisonous to the just outright vicious, here's a look at 10 of the most deadly creatures you may encounter in the sea. Number 10. Stonefish Stonefish are members of the scorpionfish family. They tend to live in tropical waters and in worldwide aquariums. The stonefish has a camouflage beyond compare. It's able to disguise itself as rocky seafloor, making it hard to recognize. So why should you be scared? Well, this fish packs more deadly poison than any other fish in the sea. These fellows might not be more than 30 to 40 centimeters long, but they are living proof of the fact that you don't have to be great in order to be a threat. The stonefish protects itself with 13 venomous dorsal spines capable of killing tissue and putting the human body in shock. They're not aggressive and don't attack, using their poisonous stingers merely as defensive weapons. However, the sting from a stonefish is said to feel like being crucified mixed with burning from a torch. Oh yeah, and topped off with a periodic whack from a sledgehammer. And that's only if you survive. Which, let's be honest, you might be begging for the Old Yeller special if those descriptions are real. So if you step on one, prepare for a world of pain. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 9. Lionfish King of the sea? Well, not as humongous as we'd expect considering its name. In fact, this red, white, and zebra-striped fish is about as small as a teacup. Experts speculate that the lionfish gets its name from its long, luscious dorsal spines that loosely resemble a male lion's mane. The beautiful lionfish is a favorite among underwater photographers. Lionfish might look beautiful, but you shouldn't let their attractive looks fool you. That is to say, like its namesake, the lionfish is a powerful predator. Though instead of relying on fangs and ferocity, it depends on the venomous sting of its spines, which can cause pain, respiratory failure, and in extreme cases, paralysis. If you're diving in the Caribbean or Eastern Atlantic, which is where lionfishes are found, I still recommend you admire these beautiful striped creatures from a distance. Number 8. Cone Snail When thinking about the most dangerous sea creatures, snails are quite unlikely to come to mind. And that's why number 8 on our list might come to you as a surprise. Cone snails are only 10 to 15 centimeters long and look quite innocent, but a single drop of their venom is said to be enough to kill 20 men. Though shell collectors lust after the complex carapace of the textile cone snail, even the bravest and brashest wouldn't dare get too close to a live one. Makes sense if you think about it. After all, for a poison to be effective for a snail, it has to be really fast acting. Otherwise, its prey would swim away, out of reach of the slow-moving slug. What makes it even scarier is that no anti-venom exists for this animal's poison. Cone snails can be met in the deep reef waters all the way from the Indian and Pacific Oceans to the Caribbean and Red Seas and also along the coast of Florida. But the ones lurking in the Indo-Pacific region tend to have more harmful toxin than others. We recommend not to try your luck anywhere with these creatures though. The nickname for cigarette snail derives from the fact that after a sting, you'll have just enough time to smoke a cigarette before you die. Number 7. Box Jellyfish The box jellyfish has caused more human deaths in Australia than snakes, sharks, and saltwater crocodiles combined. These creatures are transparent and pale blue in color, which makes them almost invisible. It actually took quite a long time before anyone even realized what was causing unsuspecting swimmers and divers such agonizing pain. One box jellyfish contains enough venom to kill up to 60 people. And what makes them even more dangerous is their venom's speed of acting. The sting of a box jellyfish can kill you in less than five minutes. Unlike other jellyfish floating with the currents, these fellows can swim. 
As the temperature gets warmer, jellyfish are found closer to the shore. That's why during the summer months, protective nets are installed at many beaches in northern Queensland to prevent encounters with the jellies. Number 6. Blue Ringed Octopus Do you know what kind of creatures weigh only around 30 grams but contain enough poison to kill over 20 humans? Also, the only dangerous animal on the planet that doesn't make its own venom? At first glance, the Blue Ringed Octopus seems completely harmless. It's vibrantly colored, smaller than a candy bar, and doesn't look like it could hurt a fly. But in reality, according to the folks at Ocean Conservancy, this small sea creature has venom 1,000 times more powerful than cyanide, and there is no known antidote. The fact that it doesn't produce its own venom, it depends on bacteria from other creatures, which it stores in its saliva. This venom will paralyze you until you stop breathing, so if you see one of these, stay far, far away. The good news is that these creatures don't want to mess with you either. They avoid any confrontation with humans and eject their venom only when provoked or stepped on. Starting to see a trend here. So the more beautiful the sea creature, the further away you should move from it? Hmm. Number 5. Barracuda Measuring up to 6 feet, the Great Barracuda uses lightning speed and ambush tactics to catch its prey of fish. So good luck swimming away from a barracuda. They will most likely catch you, as they can hustle through the water at speeds up to 25 miles per hour. Although they rarely attack humans, they do have extremely sharp teeth, very similar to those of a piranha which are known to cause a very painful bite. The appearance of these predators is more than likely to make you at least a little cautious though. The great barracudas have a body shaped like a torpedo and two rows of razor-sharp teeth. And if you need one more reason to why you shouldn't try to make contact with these creatures, nor eat them, here's a good one. The Great Barracuda's flesh sometimes contains toxins, which can cause serious symptoms from vomiting to leg weakness, and those symptoms can last more than three months. Number 4. Pufferfish Pufferfish or blowfish possess venom that's 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. But what's life without a little risk? Despite these creatures being one of the most toxic animals in the world, the inflated fish is considered a delicacy in Japan, where trained chefs prepare it for exorbitant fees. Of course, one wrong cut can mean death for the person ingesting the sea creature. Would you dare try this dish if $10,000 was the counteroffer? Number 3. Flower Urchin Starting our top three is the flower urchin, which made its way to the Guinness Book of Records in 2014 as the world's most dangerous sea urchin, and not without reason. Don't let the sea urchin's beauty fool you. Each of its flowers is actually a tentacle with a little jaw that can inject toxic venoms and potentially kill you. The flower urchin is also one of the most frequently encountered sea urchins. Flower urchin's sharp spines make it the kind of creature you really don't want to step on. As you might already have learned the hard way that standing on a sea urchin is no walk in a park, flower urchins are in a league of their own when it comes to painful defensive mechanisms. Unlike other sea urchins, the, sting, the stings of these creatures not only hurt like hell, but they can also cause paralysis which may even lead to death. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in our feature video. Number 2. Portuguese Man of War Though the Portuguese Man of War is just 12 inches long, its tentacles can be up to 165 feet. And unfortunately, these long tentacles are covered in venom-filled nematocysts that paralyze prey. Though a man of war isn't quite venomous enough to paralyze a human, its sting is powerful and packs quite the punch. And don't be fooled by harmless Portuguese man of wars that wash up on the shore. Even dead ones can sting. Number 1. Stingrays Stingrays are a crowd pleaser on dive boats, and they come in all shapes and sizes. From the smallish blue spotted ones to the massive fan-tailed stingray. Stingrays are known for their passive behavior and won't usually attack. Most reported cases happen when divers or swimmers accidentally step on them. When threatened, the stinger in the stingray's tail will whip up, 
contact with the stinger will usually cause pain and possible infection. More serious attacks are rare but can involve poisoning and even death. In 2006, conservationist and iconic animal-themed TV personality Steve Irwin famously died while filming off the coast of Queensland, Australia when he was attacked by a stingray. Though you can pet the sea rays at most aquariums, the ones in the wild still have their stingers intact. And if Irwin's death is any indication, they aren't afraid to use them if they feel threatened. After viewing this list, the almighty shark may only seem intimidating due to its size, but these creatures on the list are proving size to be a non-factor when it comes to being lethal.